this in the box. Christmas ornaments. Could go around another doormat. It says Halloween. And this one says trim a tree. Oh. Okay, let's see. I thought I saw some perfume. What is this? Oh, shimmer body oil. here and oh yeah, it's empty. perfumes anyway what are these Oh, what's that? Something benefits. The best bubble wrap. A lot of stuff on top of here. Boxes. Where's the perfume? Okay, I'm gonna look through here. I'll come back if I find something. Go for it. Lotion. A sponge. cleansers that they try to pour out.
makeup bag that they didn't cut. There's two of them, so. Another one of these. I swear I hate going through this stuff. This seems cool. welcome welcome everybody welcome if you're new welcome back if you've been here before if you're new and you have not subscribed please hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you'll know when i post another awesome amazing video give this video a thumbs up and comment down below share on social media pages it is greatly appreciated this is my haul from Alta. Um, you all know, or you might not know, but <laughs> my sole purpose for digging through all of that, um, as called in the dumpster community, dumpster diving community, um, soup boxes, and I, that is not my favorite thing to do, but because I found, um, like $80 skincare, I think it was two of them, the Sunday Riley, um, skincare that caused my addiction <laughs> to keep digging so but really it's um me wanting to find perfumes that's all it's all fun and games i mean it's it's so much fun dumpster diving but me um diving at Ulta is just fun to find usable items first of all and you know some of these products can be on the expensive side and so me finding products that I can still use that I wouldn't ordinarily purchase because um, I don't want to pay an expensive price for skincare products or beauty products, makeup and things. 
finding them in the dumpster and being able to try them is a win-win or being able to share them and or sell them um is a win-win so the one thing that i i am or have been looking for whenever i dive at ulta is perfume and um <coughs> excuse me that is what um i have been searching for so we're just gonna get right into this haul i'll show you what i found um, what I found in boxes already were these Ardell, um, lashes. So, there. And then this Juvia's Place powder foundation. It was in a box. It says Tanzania Dark. And the good thing about these, um, products that I found, some of them I can use. They are usable. And as you saw, I did clean everything. I washed the um, products off and the makeup. I used alcohol to wash the products off as well. So this is, um, as you can see, because I think the alcohol does that to that. But anyway, a uh, palette there, a Bare Minerals palette, which is deep, medium deep, neutral. Um, oh, that's in there. So I was able to clean that off and it looks beautiful. Can't wait to try that. There was this poor, poor professional. I don't know if I can turn that. It's some kind of skincare that I won't be trying. <laughs> I don't, I'm skeptical of trying a lot of different new things, but if it's something I want to try, I will. This was Juvia's Place Liquid Foundation in the number 300. So that there, that was cool. This Estee Lauder, I don't, that's a concealer that was in there. Oh no, what is this? They must have put this in. Oh, yeah, it is. It says Double Wear Radiant Concealer. Yeah. That. And then this Essence Baked Blush. That looks pretty cool. This top is broken off. I won't take that off. But it says Black Opal True Color in what? Queen Sugar. I just thought these products was I love finding like it was a makeup palette and they scraped it all out but I just like the container so I'll probably use the mirror and then here's just some pencils Juvia's Place um I believe this is a brow pencil a lip pencil from LA Girls a Juvia's Place brow pencil this is a NYX concealer a Juvia's Place eyeliner, which I thought was interesting because it's yellow. Well, that's cute. It's just cute packaging. Um, and a NYX Professional Brow Tint Pencil. And then uh, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, which could possibly be in my color. <laughs> um, and then a Fenty Beauty Pro Filler Soft Matte Foundation. And then so the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Hydration Formula. Um, I don't know. This says a body cleanser. Then these are Peach and Lily moisturizer with hyaluronic and kiwi extract and another one says glass skin water gel moisturizer two of those and then this peach and lily refining serum and some of these products are pretty expensive this is a fresh milk body lotion so two of these and they're probably both about half full so i can just make one full container 
Then these two fresh milk body cleansers. Um, you probably can see that they're half full and I can just make one container. Those are pretty expensive. This is some um, niacinamide brightening toner. And pretty much all of these are full, uh, full, are not testers. They weren't testers. They were full size products. This is O'Shea Salt of the Earth Body Scrub. And I've heard a lot about these O'Shea products. This is Seabiotic Water Cream. Um, what else? And this is Hope in the Jar Water Cream by Philosophy. Those are expensive. Found two. Um, I, I tore this by washing it, but Eco Tools um, sponges. And then just found these two uh, makeup bags that I did wash. So that was the makeup and beauty products that I found. I'll show you what was in the Dollar General dumpster. I forgot to show you the most important part. <laughs> this was a uh, Anastasia, some shimmer body oil. This one was a tester, but it has a lot of products still in there. And I found perfume. So I believe this is Juicy Couture. I'm not fond of the smell, but glad that I found it. It's um like full pretty much but yeah cute packaging cute little bottle um so yeah juicy couture i forgot the name beyond juicy couture but yeah found perfume <laughs> so mission accomplished so these were the two boxes that i found in the dollar general let me kind of in those two boxes this one was um ribbon and so these are all of the ribbon that was in there which is i thought was pretty cool because it's not just ribbon it's these cording this red cording those ribbons and then the brown cording so two of each of cording and then the ribbons so that box and then this box was Halloween bowls. So the orange novelty basket bowl, the black ones, it's two of each, and then the three of each. No, two orange, <laughs> three black, and three like tan color bowls for Halloween. And then there were these rugs. If you saw me pull those bags out. This one was, it says, Christmas um, doormats. So I didn't think I had to pull all of them out. But one is this style. It says Mary. And they were $6. They're very thin. Just thin doormats. So... One has that Mary, and I can see through the package. Uh, it's six in the package. I wonder if all of them have different styles. Let's see. Oh, yeah. They're all different styles. I don't really want to pull all of them out of this package. But let's see. And you can see they're all different styles. Yeah. That's cool. Six dollars each. And these were the ones that said um, fall. And they were just plain doormats. Let me make sure. Let's look and see. Yeah, they're all just plain black doormats. And then, let me show you what was in the big box. It was these 
different um, Christmas ornaments. And they were all a dollar each. So different styles. Well, that's pretty cool. Pretty big box. So I'll save those for Christmas and bring them out at the flea market during this year's holiday time. Let's just say how much it's in the box. Yep, 36. It's a case of 36. So that's pretty cool. So that is the haul from Ulta and Dollar General. Again, if you're new here and you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you'll know when I post another video. Um, again, I thank you all for watching. Um, it's nice to see the YouTube is trying to push out my videos. I guess I have to do longer videos for my video to get pushed even more, but please continue to watch. Thank you for all the wonderful comments. It's so nice to see you all comments because you give me such positive feedback. You all love watching diving videos as well as I love diving. So thank you again for all of your wonderful comments. I'm glad that I can, um, my videos um, can bring you some enjoyment because I enjoy doing them. So again, um, I will see you all on the next dive.